Hello everybody, Betts Golden here. Thanks so much for joining me on my channel today. I am super excited to share with you what I have prepared for the Renea Foil Paper booth uh, for Creativation 2019. I'm going to show you my very favorite technique, but before I do that, I want to show you some different ways that you can use this foil paper. And I'm, I'm basing this off of the samples that I created for the booth. So this is basically a couple scalloped circles that have been punched and um, I just folded them down the center and adhered them to a piece of Renea foil paper. This is the new 3D, well new to me, 3D embossing folder by Spellbinders and uh, it's very cool. It adds a ton of dimension and texture. And so I created this and then look at the back, that's the gold, isn't that so pretty? So that's just running it through the emboss with the new 3D. Since Creativation is in the desert, what better way than to celebrate that with a cactus? So I ran this through the cuddle bug embossing folder and then I sanded it lightly. Again, this is just pretty winter type color and I used uh, the snowflake embossing folder and sanded this. This is kind of a new thing to me. I've never done this before and I really like it. Basically what you do is you take your Aenea foil paper and you uh, die cut some images out. I use stars. You lightly adhere them to another piece of Rhenea foil paper and then you run that all together through your embossing machine with an embossing folder and what it does is it almost like molds and melds those two pieces of paper together so you have a really cool new piece that looks like it just came like that. This one has been run through an embossing folder and it, it's been sanded. And then the last two are just real basic. Basically, you just tear paper and, uh, you know, it tears nicely, stays nice and flat. I did use a little bit of ink on this, just playing with it. And then finally, this is just one of my other favorite things to do with it crumple it up, flatten it out. It breaks that foil and you get that beautiful silver through. So this to me, this project in which I create tiles for Rania foiled paper in their booth is more of experimental and play. I do a couple techniques on a couple different sheets of paper and uh, just to showcase how the colors interact and what happens and just a, a nice variety of um, projects and how you can use the paper. But when I was doing this this year, I, I found my very favorite technique, new technique to me, and I'm gonna show you what that is. So how many of you have in your stash alcohol ink? Do you guys remember this? This is one of the mix it in. and I pulled some alcohol ink. Now, I've never used alcohol ink on Rhenea foil paper before until recently. And the reason is because I was concerned that it would lift the color, but because it's alcohol based. So I was afraid I'd get a big metal mess, but that's not what it does. It is so cool. So let me show you how I do this technique. And I'm just gonna use a piece of gold paper to do this. And what I do is I make sure that I shake them up really well. And then I just do a couple drops of each on the paper. Just laying it out. This is like a rust. This is like a uh, that was that other one was a butterscotch. This one's a red pepper. And then from here, I want to take and open up my mix it in. I'm going to use gold, get it ready. I'm taking that blending solution and I'm just popping it all the way through to get some beautiful color down. This works fantastic on this paper and it does lift a little bit in some areas but I'm totally okay with that look how cool this is see 
Alcohol ink works beautiful on glossy paper, and Renia foil paper is glossy as well, so of course it's going to work good on this. I'm just going to throw out some gold mixident and just pop it on in some spaces. Okay, so this is just the basic. Just slap down on the foil paper, you're good to go. Let me show you uh, something really cool I'm going to do. And that is on this. So what I did to create this so far is I took a gold sheet of Renia foil paper and I just tore the embossed uh, Renia foil paper that comes with the pretty little stars. And then I think this is like a this is like the, the brown, I think it's a chocolate or a mocha or something, I'm sorry. I'll have the correct links down below. So I just tore this tore these sheets down and actually no, um, I did this on this. It's the star and then I added the gold on, on the edges and then the brown. See, that's the thing with this technique is it's so cool you can't even tell, it looks like one piece. So once I tore the pieces down, I went ahead and adhered them. And then from there, I ran them through my machine. So on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place it on my uh, handle this time. And I do have quite a bit of color down already. So I'm not gonna really need to add much more, maybe a drop. I'm just going to use those colors. They're warm, they complement each other, and it just makes sense. So I'm just going to do a drop of red pepper. I'm going to do a drop of, I think this is the, oh, sunshine yellow. And then here is the caramel. And then I'm going to add in a gold mixident. Now, when you're using your mixidents, you have to make sure that you really shake them up because there's like a gold pigment in it. And then I'm just going to add my alcohol blending solution. And I'm just going to pounce away on this. And this is just going to give a beautiful, distressed, rustic effect. And it does lift some of the color, but that's totally okay. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to just add in a little bit more color because I want a little bit more coverage. It's so much better when you're using this technique to start off light-handed and then go ahead and uh, get a little bit heavier handed with it as you continue on. And look how fun this is. Look how beautiful that is. Think about how much, how many things you can do on cards with this technique. Is this not just like the coolest? So this is my very favorite new technique to do with Renia foil paper. You're going to be seeing probably a lot of this from me in the very near future. I absolutely love it. So let me go ahead and show you a few other 4x4 tiles that I've done with this same technique. I just used a couple different colors. So this one, I went ahead and I just dropped different colors of alcohol ink, one drop in each of the center of those flowers. Then I went over with my alcohol blending and I dabbed it over to kind of spread it out and I got that beautiful effect. This one is one of my favorites. I basically did the same thing that I did right here on this. Look how cool that is. And that was originally a gold. Look what that did. That's gorgeous. So look at the difference and the similarities in it. Every piece is going to be different. This is a wonderful technique, got a fingerprint in there, to use in mixed media to create canvases. 
Now it does take a little bit of time to dry and set up, so make sure you take that into consideration when you do it. This is another technique. I actually used this on silver. This was the first one that I did. And I used um, some purples and some blues and then the silver mix in it, and I just did it the same that I did on this one. So pretty. And then this one, same thing. I wanted to see what it would look like on the cute little stars. And I love it. It's so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this one was a lot of fun. I went first and I put it through an embossing folder with this. I sanded. Actually, no, I did not sand it yet. Yeah, no, I didn't. Did I sand it? No, I did not sand it. I actually went over this with some blue stays on. And then after I did that, I went over it lightly with some coordinating alcohol ink. And I, that was what's left. It is so pretty. And then last but not least, you know, I took, I think it's the blush. I had to crumple it up. I love to crumple this paper. I crumpled it up and I alcohol inked over that, which was very cool because when you crumple it, the foil will break. And so you'll be left with this beautiful um, silver or white center, which isn't necessarily always foil. So you get a really, really fun result from this. So this is just my new favorite thing to do with this paper is alcohol ink. And I know that you like, if you're like me, you probably have a ton of alcohol ink in your stash. For me, it's just been sitting there for a while. And now it's coming out and it's plain and it's happy and I'm happy. If you have not checked out the Renea blog, you got to head over there for more inspiration. Check out the shop link below. Make sure that you subscribe and leave any questions, comments below. Please feel free to share this video. Love it when that happens. Until next time, happy crafting.